Hi Loco, back at you with another video. Today I'm going to be putting some progressive front fork springs into my Road King. It's lowered two inches and to be honest with you I don't like it. It's too, it's too much for the roads over here so I bought these from Hagen. So today the job is to get them fitted. So we'll jump straight into it. First of all, we're going to start by removing the headlock trim rings. So for me, I've got one here for the visor. Pull the visor off and I have one there for the inner ring. So. Trim rings off. Right now we're going to remove the headlight. These Phillips heads all the way around. I think there's about eight of them, maybe more. Uh, them all the way out. Obviously, pull the headlight out, disconnect it, and set it to the side. So we'll get that done now. Obviously, I've put some bubble wrap here to protect the air fender, so the light's ready to come out. Headlock removed. You see this little tiny knot I've started to remove now? I'll remove that, then that releases this on top to pull out. Right, we've got two bolts here to the opposite side, half inch, so we're going to remove them now. Okay, I've got a Phillips head there to remove. And under this clock, I've got two Phillips heads to remove to remove this. So I'm going to get that done now. That's all them bolts out and screws, um, and the cell's loose now. So obviously, just slide this off, set it aside. Maybe you've got a switch here. Locks up. Well, so that's everything exposed here now. Now what we have to do is go down and uh, remove the front wheel. Remove the fender. under the brake calipers. Set them all out, out the way nice and safe. And obviously we can slide the forks out and do what we're gonna do. So the next job is to remove the brake calipers, then the axle nuts, then the fender. Okay, so we'll get into that now. So these two bolts here, obviously it's a multi spline socket. Um, I've got a 10 mil that fits it snug out my uh, tool case, so that's what I'll be using. So that's that side the caliper off. Um, just put it towards the engine guard and secure it, like tie it round so obviously it doesn't swing back and forth and damage anything or break a line. So. Do the same on the other side. Now we're onto the front wheel. Two pinch bolts here at the bottom of the axle. Half inch crap them off evenly. Main ox are not three quarter inch. Break that off. Right. Well, to remove the front fender, we've got to uh, take these out. There's the tabs, the knock over to stop the nuts coming loose. So you just got to tap them back with hammer and chisel. Same on this. 
rotten gutters, that's all that done. Fenders out. Um, am I not on the top of the forks here? It's a funny saw, so I've got a 12 inch crescent, crescent wrench because I've lost my socket. I think it's a one and three quarter inch or something like that, or one three eighths. Uh, I had to order another one, and the postman ain't been here. I was hoping it would be here first thing this morning. But obviously, I'm doing this video quite early, so. 12 inch cre crescent wrench. I'm not exactly too tight. And I've already cracked these. So, as we go, get some rags ready because obviously he's got an hole then straight through to your oil and everything. Um, here, focus on there. I think these are three eighths. Um, just holding this so we can slide, get that off, slide it down. Yeah, three outs, just take these out. So the foot cap's off. Now what we're gonna do is, uh, with a five out socket, loosen this pinch bolt. Get the forks worked down the touch. Try and keep this covered up. And what I'm going to do is lock that back up. So we've cracked that a touch. Just give it a couple of turns. As you can see, it's starting to come away. We'll slap this back off. That's the fork out. So we've cracked that a touch, just give it a couple of turns, as you can see it's starting to come away. We'll slap this back off. That's the fork out. Look so. I've just come outside my uh, work shed just to, just in case you never know, because this is loaded, how much pressure it's under take this cap off so uh yeah we'll, uh, we'll get this off man it wasn't that bad throw that in there Let's try and get the rag around this because obviously it's gonna make a fucking mess Right, so prior to the instructions say, with the fork collapsed, from the top of the fork, there must, there's got to be a 300 millimetre gap uh, till it meets the top of the oil. With respect that obviously you ain't going to be able to see inside the fork tube. This is a little guide. There is a seal just inside that I can see and I'm right on top of the lip. Right there. Right now it starts to pump the fork up and down 15 to 20 times to get air out the system. Right guys, to clear it up, um, 300 million at first, with it bottomed out, pump it 15 to 20 times. Then they've called for 160, for my bike, they've called for 160 mil gap then, so... I'm just measuring that now. With respect, I know you can't see, but I'm trying my hardest to get you involved. So that's that. Tight calls at the top. Putting the cap back on now. This will be the first one done. The fork springs changed, oil's in, nuts are back on. We're gonna put the uh, 
forks back in the bike now. Right guys, we're going to tighten this to 45 newton meters. Sides on, obviously, no, the exact same wheel side, not rocket shines. So that's the forks back on. Being good practice while you're in here with all this off, just to. Obviously, I've got eye pangers on my bike, some 16 inch Carlinis, but you know, check your clamp, make sure everything's up to spec with the torque, nice and tight. Just go over everything while you're in here. Just getting the fender back on now. Same again. These bolts this side, get them snugged in, torqued up. And obviously not the ends Oliver. Front axle nuts, 88 newton meters. So that's 15 to 20 newton meters. They're a half inch stocky, of course. Time to put the calipers back on. The longer bolt in the top. 23 to 26 newton meters torque. Right then guys, that's the uh, wheel back on, torqued up, calipers on, torqued up, uh, fenders on, everything's torqued. Uh, now we've just got to put all the nacelle back on the front of the headlighting, so we'll start doing that now, plugging stuff in where it needs to be. Right then guys, we'll start getting this side on. Same for the other side. A, few, a couple of plugs to put in. So we've got obviously your passing lights. So I just slid the load, uh, light bar back on. And obviously, just got to tighten up all these wires that I took back in there. Alright, then, guys, putting this back on now to cover the clamp. Uh, Philip said in here, under here is a washer that's if you drop it can be a bastard to find. So uh, I always wrap it in some electrical tape. And just try and hold, get your hand in and hold it up there because if you drop it, it's a nuisance. So we'll get that in. 
get this spear on and um head right in. Well, the headlight's got to go back in. This protects your fender, obviously. I've got a lot of bubble wrap there, so. Make sure everything's out of the way. And start then screws into hold it. Headlights in. Now it's for the time for the trim ring. Obviously, just check, check your ignition, make sure your headlights working. Now uh, it's time for the trim ring. Right then, because I've got a visor over the trim ring, um, you fit the first one on loosely. And you slide this one into position. You start tightening your outside one. And as you get down, it's enough where you can get the screwdriver and you tighten the inside, then tighten the outside again. They ain't the best of fits. This is genuine Harley Davidson as well. You get left with a little gap here, but so be it. Well then, guys, that's my video on how to uh, change the front fork springs. Uh, I hope it helps you out. It's not too much of a big job at all, to be honest with you. It's just getting all the front end off is most time consuming. But just take your time, go easy at it, and you'll get it done. Uh, to, until next time, stay safe, ride safe, and God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you helped you. Thank you.